Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Thank you for always stopping by. In today's video, I want to share with us three things you should never post on social media if you're not spiritually strong to face or fight the battles that will come with it. Most of us, you post pictures out of excitement because you're happy. You don't know people around you are not happy. And immediately after posting that picture, that will be the beginning of your downfall. That will be the beginning of your problems. The first one of it is your certificate. Most of us, when you graduate from school, when you get a certificate of employment, when you get a certificate of a contract, the first place you post it is on social media. <laughs> Both the winches you know and the ones you don't know will come after you if you're not spiritually strong. And you'll find that that certificate will be very useless to you. Some of you have graduated for over 10 years, 15 years. You can't even get a good job. No matter, Even when you are qualified, when you have a very good grade, you have gone to acquire a certificate outside the country to, hand, uh, to be able to handle a project for the government. But ever since you wasted your money traveling out of the country to acquire that certificate, you can now use it to get a job because you posted it on social media without praying. Yes, I'm not saying that posting something on social media is not good, but make sure you're prayerful before you post your success on social media. Social media can make you popular. It can equally make you, it can equally destroy you. If you're not spiritually strong. Most of you are going from one place to another. Without knowing that. It's just a 5 minutes. About 24 hours status. You posted. That is the cause of your problems. I've got some of you. That I, uh, that I viewed their status. On several occasions. Remove this thing. You're not supposed to publicize it. And most of you will acknowledge it. And remove it immediately. Most of you may see the message late, and before you remove it, your enemies have seen it. So let us be careful what to post on the internet if you are not spiritually strong. Yes, I see so many people posting things they're not supposed to post. And after that, watch those people's life. It will start, you know, their life will change drastically for bad because they are not spiritually strong to back it up. But if you are spiritually strong, posting your certificate alone can make people to say, oh, you have this certificate, I can give you this job. I can help you. I have a connection. You know, that, that is the aim of social media. But the evil people is now using it in the negative way to fight the children of God. So for you to post, make sure you are spiritually strong to protect that thing you are posting. Another thing is that you shouldn't post on social media if you are not spiritually strong is your office. Or your business uh, space. Most of you will post your shop. So people will say, wow, he's doing well. Look at how big his shop is. You post your office. They will look at the air condition in your office. They will look around and say, wow, so this boy, upon all we have done to him, he's still doing well. He's still in this office. They will go and rem they will remember you again and start attacking you. So for you to post, please place and place make sure you are ready to fight you are ready to back it up in prayers you are ready you are very very spiritually strong that is my advice for every one of us this morning being the first of june yes why i'm making this video is i did a consultation for somebody two days ago and what i saw was she posted her marriage certificate on their, I think, their family platform or something like that. That was the beginning of her problem in her marriage. A marriage of less than six months, she wedded in December, is about to crash. When I mean about to crash, if not that, God is going to intervene. I don't know. I thank God she was able to call me on time. And by the special grace of God, we are going to start doing something today to save that marriage. Because the enemies have started fighting already. She's even in her father's house as she contacted me. So I know that 
that is the mistake most of us have made and i am here today to tell us to be careful what we post on the internet then the third one is your building there are so many there are so many but i don't i just i don't want this video to be long your building or you acquire a property let me use that word <laughs> Immediately you post it, if it's a, a land and you want to start building, you won't even see money again to finish that project. That is why most of you have so many unfinished projects. When you dig the foundation, you show it on social media. Congratulations, congratulations. It's not crossing their lips. Inside their hearts, they are bitter. Some of them will come and start chatting you, uh, chatting you privately. Wow, which location did you buy the land? You tell them. They will know how much they sell a plot of land there. They will be imagining how you were able to raise such money. And they will come after you. And you, without knowing, you'll be fighting. Sometimes you even start accusing your wife of being the winch. That ever since you married her, things have not been moving well. Because you don't know where your problem is coming from. It's social media. Yes. You will buy a property, sort of it to celebrate within yourself. Thank God, go to church, give a, sec a, a, a secret Thanksgiving. You go to social media, celebrate with me, friends. I just bought a new house. Who are your friends? Are they truly your friends? They are not. 90% of them are not. What they will do, they will start thinking of how to kidnap you, how to kill you, how to stop that source of income. So that that house you buy, you will sell it in less than two months or less than one year. You start looking for buyer because you don't have money to eat again. Your business will start going down. So let us be very careful of what to post out there for people to see. Let us be very careful. You will find, you will buy a new chair in your house. You post it. My friend celebrate with me. I bought this turkey chair. Who is asking you? You don't need to post it on social media for people to see it. God knows you're struggling, you are work, you're hard working. So anything you acquire, you deserve it. But the witches and wizards will not let you enjoy your hard work. So if you know you are just ufeke, let me use that language in my let me use that word in my language. You're not spiritually strong. That is what you mean. You're not strong, both physically and spiritually. Please be mindful of what you post on social media. I'm not saying that. Everybody's problem is coming from social media. But I'm here today to share with us my experience two days ago. And that prompted this video. Please be careful. Many people out there are not happy that you're progressing more than them. So that's social media face uh, space. Be careful what you post there. To avoid having problems, you cannot be able to fight on. I've come to the end of today's video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye-bye.